dream himself, Devin Haney, my man. Yes, how, are how are you? Good to see you, my bud. Good Back like I never left. Back it seemed like, like I was just with you. House. I was this just here, house. right? You were just here, yeah, a couple of uh, months ago. I was supposed to see you in San Francisco. It fell through. They were trying to hold me down. Yeah. The man. Everything happens for a reason. It's all good. I was watching from afar. We just had your dad on like a week ago. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. On the show. He didn't tell you. No, he didn't he tell me. He came snazzy with the suit and everything. He was okay. in the back of a car. I don't know where he was. Okay. I think I did see a clip. I yeah. Is he here, by the way? Uh, He's not out there, no. I think he's on his way here, though. Okay. How are you, he's sir? He's on a ton of media. Too, yeah, he's so, a star, you know, too. Yeah, man. He's just... uh, It's good to see you. You smell fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank you. I don't know you. if anyone told you that, but... I haven't heard that today, but I was wondering if they could smell me. Yeah, oh, no, you, know? you smell fantastic. What is oh, it? Thank you. Do, you. do you want to tell um, us, sir? It's something that you just got to keep, you know... Okay, to, to yourself. yourself. Yeah. Okay, on the deal. You don't want people, like... Yeah, because it's like, all right, oh, he smells like Devin. Like, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, so much to talk about. We don't have a lot of time, so let's get right into it. You're fighting April 20th in Brooklyn, right? Yes. I, 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 I say right at the end because that location has been up for discussion, but I don't want to start there. I want to start post-Regis Progre. Okay. When you're looking for who's next, what's next, right? Mm -hmm. I saw you in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. There's the talk of tank. How do we end up with Ryan? Well, um, Ryan called me out, um, and then, um, you know, we went into discussions. Uh, then we fell out of discussions. You know, he said he went on, well, we know what happened. He went on a jog with Floyd. Right. <laughs> and then we- Is that real? I mean, I guess I can ask him too in an hour or so, but that's legit. I mean, I don't know. Okay, fine. Right. We don't know. We don't know. Um, we don't know how real that is. Um, and I love Floyd, Floyd by the way. Sure, sure. This is not at Floyd. This is at Ryan. But um, yeah, um, he went on the jog, and then he, had, you know, he had a change of heart. So then the fight fell out. He was he was back in the he was you know he was in negotiations with Rolly, yeah. Pitbull. I don't know really know what what was going on, and uh, I was looking at what was next, what could be next, and then that fight fell out. Pitbull and Rolly fight. Pitbull and Rolly agreed to fight. Here comes Ryan. Isn't that a weird thing? Because I would think that you would be the top choice. Why would it go from Pitbull, Rolly, falling well, through, and then go we, back to you? We gotta ask Ryan. What was? What did he talk about on the run? Right. We don't know. Okay. So once he comes back to you, how easy or hard was it to make the fight? Um, it was it was easy because I feel like if two guys want to want to make a fight happen, it's it's not hard. It's not it's not hard to be made. Um, you know, of course. Oh, was just back and forth over the numbers and, you know, that part, you know, that's, that always takes time. But other than that, it was really, it wasn't hard to be made. Good deal for you? Great deal, yeah. Best deal so far? Yeah. This is a golden boy fight. By far, by far. By far. Yeah. This is a golden boy fight, right? Yeah. What is... Co-promotion. Devin Haney promotion. Right. But no match room. Um, no, no match room. Me, me and my dad, you know, we put this deal together. You guys did it yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me and my dad. But that's what Deb Haney Promotions is, is, is about. You know, uh, we want to make the, the, the biggest fights happen. And uh, we wanted to take, you know, control of my career and be, be at the table. So uh, me and my dad, we put this fight together with uh, Oscar. And, uh, you know, um, Eddie Hearn is supporting. He's, he, he's, he's coming to support and, you know, uh, to cheer me on. Um, I love Oscar, I love Eddie, and uh, yeah. I think some people thought that maybe you were gonna continue with Matchroom because your last fight was a co-promotion with them, right? Yeah, I mean, who's to say that I won't do, you know, co-promotions with them later on? Me and Eddie has, have a great relationship. Right. Um, he's, he is a friend of mine. Over the years, we developed a friendship, and um, you know, now Devin Haney Promotions is, is, is taking the lead, and uh, it is what it is. Eddie is, Eddie's, you know, fully supporting it, and uh, he's, he'll be here today. To, yes, he will. To, to talk yes. about it. Um, and so the relationship with Golden Boy, is it just for this fight, or is there any sort of, like, multi-fight situation? No, um, it's, it, it's just for this fight. Okay. Um, but like I said, we don't know what the future holds. Um, it's so much opportunities, you know, for uh, Devin Haney Promotions and Devin Haney and, you know, future, you know, co-promotions. We'll see. Um, what do you make of the relationship between Ryan and Oscar? I don't know. It ain't, my, it ain't really my business. It ain't, it's, that's for them to... It was out. weird before the last fight, right? Before the Duarte Honestly, fight? Honestly, somebody conference? just asked me about it. I don't really know much about really what was going on or what, what was or wasn't. I don't, I don't really know too much about it. So. But again, it's not really my business. You know, Whatever they got going on, that's between them. Okay. I got a great relationship with 
Oscar. I got a great relationship with, with Eddie. It's not, it's not like me and Eddie versus Oscar and Ryan. It's not that. It's, you know, um, I'm I'm working with, with Oscar right now. And uh Eddie is 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 my friend. He's coming to to support. Um so yeah. I know it just kind of started, everything's kind of kicking off this week. You have the press conference tomorrow here in New York and then LA on Thursday, right? But so far, um are you happy working with Golden Boy? Golden Boy in this in this yeah, capacity? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so far, you know, um, I'm happy with the way that the the, the deal is structured. Um, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming, and uh, you know what what you know better fight to to you know take control and take that lead and, and get what you know what I feel like I deserve um, than this one. This is the big one. This is for you know, it's it's it's, it's a lot at stake. Yes. When you say it's been a long time coming, what do you mean by that? Meaning, you know, um, you know, since I started my promotional company, company, you know, it's, we've been trying to, you know, get that respect and demand the, the 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 respect at the negotiating table, not just you know with the fight and you know me being a champion, but at the negotiating table to to get those right percentages and to get the 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 numbers, right, the money, yeah, that I deserve, and uh, I think it's it's, it's finally that, that that time. Okay, so when the fight gets announced, there's no location attached to the announcement, right? Yeah. And I think most people thought Vegas, if mm-hmm. not Cali, right? You have your ties to Cali. He has his ties to Cali. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, Oscar, I think Wednesday night, tweets Barclays Center. Yeah. Did not expect that for multiple reasons. A, your ties, his ties. Even Golden Boy hasn't been here in a while. Mm-hmm. How do we end up in Brooklyn? Yeah. Um, so, you know, um, Canelo's fighting two weeks before. Us. Two weeks or, after. I mean, two weeks after. May 4th. Supposedly, May 4th. yeah. Supposedly. Yes. So they're not where they don't they don't want us fighting two weeks before and you know messing up his his gate. Hmm. Not saying that we will or we won't, but they just re- was leaving those those two weeks open to where, you know, in the big events, it doesn't happen like that back to back yeah. to back, especially in boxing. So um that's when New York came up. I said I'm, I I heard about it the night before they asked about it. I said I'm for it, um, and then it was announced. Was Cali discussed? Uh, crypto. No. The next best spot, the next best place was New York, and then yeah, I agreed to it. I I, I love New York, and it's, it's it's the media capital of the world. I think we get so much eyeballs, so much promotion. Um, I love it, and. And my dad always told me since I was a little kid, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Oh, it's huge. No, I love it. But then Ryan doesn't seem to be too happy about it. So what do you think of those tweets? Queen Ryan doesn't like it, but (laughs) go cry about it. Can he do anything to change the location or is it a done deal? I mean, we signed a contract. It's it's, it's here. This is is where it's going to be. And like I said, Queen Ryan can go cry about it. It's happening. April 20th. Did he know about it before it was announced? I I don't know. I'll, I'll obviously be able to ask him that, but it just seemed like he was digesting it. I, I think we see some uh, some tweets right over there. Can we put that back up with him saying, uh, this decision has nothing to do with NYC, but everything to do with business and what I believe is best for my career. This is an MGM Vegas fight, doing everything we can to bring this to Vegas and giving the fight what it deserves. When he says doing everything we can, what does that mean? I don't know. You got to ask him. Okay. But ask. it's secure for, because there were some New York fans being like, oh, is it going to be taken away from us? Yeah, no. Nah, um, the fight is um, it's happening in Brooklyn. Have you seen, uh, I don't know if you guys follow each other on social media, but like over the weekend, he was like tweeting all kinds of stuff, talking about Sean O'Malley and UFC, <laughs> like all over the place. What do you make of where he's at right now? Because it's... Um, I try to just, you know, stay focused on on me and and, you know, the fight. Ryan Garcia could go say whatever he want to say. Um, he going to come to fight on April 20th, and I'm going to come to fight. Rather, whatever he says, whatever I say, it's not going to change the, the the way that I prepare, the, the the mindset that I go in with. So if he's fucked up mentally, he's fucked up mentally. If he's not, if he's playing mind games, if he's playing tricks, antics, we got to think this guy's an actor. He's a TikToker. He's a YouTuber. You know, I don't, I don't take him serious. He said he had something in store, a surprise in store for the presser, a teammate or something. What do you what do you think he's talking about? He's a YouTuber, TikToker. This is what he does. We'll see. Buzz, hype, all that stuff. This is what he does. Um, both of you were involved in a little fracas at the Super Bowl, right before yeah, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Legit, right? Yeah. I could even see on your dad's face, like he got really mad. Nah, it was real, because it was like I was just standing there 
And then Ryan was like mumbling some stuff. <laughs> and then like, I was like, what? Like, the fuck this dude talking about? And then he was like, you guys were he like, was like, he was, he was like, you're not friends. We're not friends. I'm like, who the fuck said we was friends? Like, whoever said that we was friends? I never said I was your friend, but what are you talking about? Like, you were acting. You just acting. There it is. And then, uh, then he pushed you. Yeah, then he pushed me. And then I punched him. Did you punch him? Look, you can see. Oh, it, was, it happened so, your, 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 your punches are so fast that I think I missed it. Yeah, well, he felt <laughs> it. And that's why he said, you didn't hit me. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, yeah. Your dad, though, it. got really Actually, mad. Actually, my knuckle was kind of messed up a little bit. Like, not messed up, but like I had some scratches. He was bleeding a little bit. And him and your dad now going back and forth. Yeah. Do you like when your dad gets involved like that, or would you rather him not? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's part of it. But these guys, you, it's funny because they go at my dad first. Yeah. <laughs> they go at like him Regis, first. Yeah. Right? He, and Ryan did too, so. Here's your dad getting all fired up. I mean, look at that look on his face. That's a pissed off father right there. Yeah. He's not messing around. Who had more people there with him? Like, is that more your guys or his guys? Or is it a mix? I think it's just a mix. I don't know exactly how many. I mean, look at Bill up in there. He's ready to throw down. What set him off? We don't have the audio playing here. Do you remember what set him off? No, I don't remember. You don't remember. No. Did you see him at all the rest of that weekend in Vegas? No, I didn't see him. Okay. I was looking for him, though. You were? Yeah. To do what? We got to see. Just to, to finish what you guys were talking about? Yeah. I, mean, I, had, I needed to tell him something. I to... What do you want to tell A him? A secret. Okay. A secret. He'll be here soon if you want to tell him. What are you waiting for him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for you, though... We just talked about his path to getting to you. How close were you to getting to Tank? Um, to the fight happening? Yeah. I mean, I can't say I, we was close at all. We, I mean, we did, we did, we haven't went into no type of negotiations. His, his team hasn't reached out to me or nothing to make a fight, so I can't say we got close to anything. I mean, we seen Turkey out of the street. Yeah. You know, Your Excellency in you know Saudi Arabia. You know, we we seen him. You know, say. That he's, that that's the fight that he would want to be made. That he would want to make. Tank's team hasn't reached out or anything like that. So, Tank said send him. He wanted two Ferraris or something like that. Right. Turkey said he'll send him two boxing gloves. <laughs> 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 what, what, what was your experience like over there? Was that your first time? Oh, amazing! No, um, I've been there a few times. Saudi. Okay. I'm Muslim, obviously. So, yep. um, you know, I, I've been there. I've been to Hajj, and you know, went went out there to to pray and do do those things. Um, great experience. Um, one day, uh, one day I want to, you know, get a spot there, you know, move there, you know, uh, me and my family or something. You want to live there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In Saudi? Yeah, Saudi, yeah. Uh, what Gosh, was Inshallah, one day. Yeah, yeah. D and, uh, you met Turkey there too, right? Yeah, I met Turkey. Yeah. Legit boxing fan. Yeah, he's, bro, he's, he's a great guy. Hardcore. Yeah, and he really knows his boxing too. Right, right, right. Yeah. The history and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so that, that's a dream of yours to fight there. Dream, a dream of mine, yeah. Um, hopefully next. Hopefully we, we can make it happen next. Who's the dream opponent? Um, well, you know, we know Tank wants two Ferraris, so that fight can't happen. <laughs> right. Maybe, uh, I don't know. We got to see. You know, um, our main focus is Ryan Garcia right now. Got to get past him. Once I get past him, then we'll see what, what opens up. No hydration clause? None no hydration that. clause. Rematch? No rematch. There's no rematch no for rematch. either of you? No. Okay, so it's just a one and done. Like there is, there is a rematch, but it's like, like mutual. It has to be like mutual. Like, like we'll explore after the fight. But okay, but it's, it's not. It's not a rematch clause. No. Yeah, no. there's not something that someone say I, this has to be next. No. Nothing like that. No. Um, and uh, and it's at 140, right? 140. Yeah. Did you? You obviously you watched his last fight. Yes. Against Sword. What What did you think of his performance? Um. I haven't really went to dissect it. I watched it a little bit when it was uh, when it happened. I was like in and out. Like I would watch it some and then you know go off, watch a little bit of it. Um, I see he learned uh, the shoulder roll. He, he he learned a new move. Yeah. Did he do it effectively? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, people were critical of his performance, and my retort to that was first time with Derek James, coming off his first loss. You know, sometimes you kind of have to get your feet wet. So I thought, no, you, you disagree. I mean, you're the pro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Confidence. Get his confidence rolling again. It sounds like you were I've weren't... been with the same team, so I can't say. I can't sure. speak for him. For him. And, you've, and you've not lost. Yeah. So I've been with the same team. But is there something to that? New trainer. You know, you're trying to get on the same page. You're trying to get your confidence back after I don't know. Stopped. I mean, I would hope 
Derek James didn't teach him that shoulder rule. You think he did? I don't know, no. Yeah, Why? I don't think he did, right? Because it didn't look good? I don't know, did it? What do you think? <laughs> You're the pro, not me. <laughs> well, you thought it looked awkward? Unimpressive. It wasn't his best move. It, and you could say it wasn't his best performance, I would, you know, right? I would love for him to bring that shoulder roll. Against you? On April 20th. Okay. <laughs> That's all I got to say. How do you feel about the shoulder roll in general? Effective if done correctly. Yes, exactly. exactly. Right. Effective if, if done correctly. Uh, it can be very effective. But we've seen a lot of people do it ineffectively, and uh, it cost them. So it's a dangerous move. What did you think about his performance against Tank? Pre-shoulder um, roll. I thought that uh, he went in there, he jumped on Tank. That's that's what Ryan does. Like He tries to go in there and try to overwhelm you, try to try to just jump on you and try to just you know um, overwhelm you. I think he's, that's what he's going to try to do to me. But uh, I think he's going to run into something um, early, like he did with Tank. Okay. So you're feeling stoppage? Possibly. Like, yeah. Well, if, 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 he, if he acts up, if he gets out of control, I think he'll run into something, like I said. So what's fun about this matchup, for those who don't know, you guys have this history. You're 3-3. Three and three, You won the last matchup back when you were kids. Yes. It, yes. Our first fight, we were like 10 years old. That's crazy. Yeah. What, what were the circumstances there? Like, where did you, where did you fight? We fought in a tournament called the um, Junior Golden Gloves. Okay. Where was it? Uh, Mesquite. And, it's uh, Mesquite, um, Nevada. Do you remember the sequence of wins and losses? Like, who won the first, who won the second? Nah, I don't really remember that part. Um, I don't really remember all the fights. Um, I remember the, the first one, and I remember, like, the more, more recent ones. The last one? I remember the last one, for sure. The one that you won? Yeah. Do you remember how it went? Like, do you remember? Yeah, I remember I gave him an eight count. I gave him a standing eight count. Um... Yeah, I beat the shit out of them. You did? Yeah. Were you guys cool? Like, your kids? We were rivals. Like, you know, we were kids. We were rivals. You know? Okay, so you didn't hang out after, go for nah, pizza or something nah, like that? Nah, nah, nah. You weren't buddies? Nah. In, in your mind, I know you're young at that point, but in your mind, you're like, I'm probably going to see this guy at some point? No, nah, I mean, you just, you, it's, you're young, so you don't think that far ahead. You only think of what right now. Okay. I mean, there's so many guys that were so good in amateurs that just haven't even did nothing in the pros, turned pro, got beat early, or didn't even turn pro, so... Um, it's it's it would have been a bunch of guys that that I had good fights with amateurs that would that should have been good pros and wasn't so no. But luckily Ryan, you know he he I made it to the top. He made it to the top, and uh, we we settled the score. Game seven, fight seven. Now I like the way you put it. Uh, you obviously knew that you would be a star, make it. You had confidence. Did you think maybe you not fight each other, but like did you think oh this guy's gonna be someone? Like, could you see that in him? No, I mean, like I said, you cannot look that far ahead. You can't even, you know? even, even knowing what you know of him or knowing what you knew of it's him, just, no. It's hard to look it's that hard, far huh? ahead. It's hard to look that far ahead. Okay. Just focus on the right then. You know, you're young. So yeah. You just focus on the right now. Does that, does that make it at all? Like, because that was so long ago and because you were so young, does that add anything to, like, you? I know the way you put it is game seven, but does it make it more personal for you? Yeah, no, nah, uh, nah, it's personal because... You know, Ryan says some things that, like, just rub me the wrong way that it's, like, no coming back from. Like, you know how, like, most fighters, we, after, you know, a hug and it's like, all right, you know, good fight, da 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 I didn't mean none of that I said. Nah, he said some stuff about my religion that, like, he cannot come back from. And he knows what he said. Can I ask what he said? Nah, I don't, I don't even want to say it. You don't want to repeat knows, it. He, know, he knows what he said and he knows who he said it to. He didn't say it to me. He said it to somebody. And that got back to me, so it's like, now I got to make an example out of him. I, this is like, this is bigger than me. This is for Allah. This is for all the Muslims around the world. You spoke about my religion. You still spoke down on my religion. So now I'm going to make an example out of you. And and did he speak about this, like, in relation to you or just in general? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Recently? Yeah. Okay. And someone told you? Yeah. Who told you? Somebody. Okay. He know he 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 knows. Is it a good source? About. Like meaning like was it someone who was trying to stir the pot or legit like no, no, believe no, this no, person? No, 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 it's just, legit. No, it's it was Floyd, wasn't it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Love you, Floyd. What's up? Uh <laughs> so that that's what made it personal. Yeah. And that how can I just ask how long ago this was? Very recent. Oh, very recent. Yeah. Post the Vegas. No, right before. Okay. So now there's no turning back. Before the job. Before the oh, before the jog with Floyd, <laughs> um, what were you were, were you born Muslim or did you no, guys no convert? When did you convert? I cannot say exactly. Um, 
three, four years ago. Okay. Yeah. And can I ask why? Um, I feel like I studied the religion for a long time. My dad was Muslim before me, and we would go to the mosque all the time. But I didn't. I I just didn't convert. I would just go pray with him, just go learn about the religion and everything. And then um, I don't know. I just feel like Allah is a perfect planner, and He knows. You know, he he. It's it's on His timing. Like I have no control. He controls everything. So it, I felt like it was time. Like I, it was just so much more discipline. It was just so much more like. I understood it. It was a religion that I understood. And um, that's when I converted. Were you religious before? Um, nah, I wouldn't say like, nah, not really. Okay, and, and you're, like you said, your dad was, so obviously yeah. made sense for the family. Um, okay, so now we understand the, the stakes here and we understand that it is happening in New York. We understand that, you know, you have this sort of like, friendly business relationship with Matchroom, but they're not involved as promoters. I think we got a lot accomplished here in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Um, do you think that him, you know, he's talking about Sean O'Malley. Did you see those tweets? Yeah. Do you think he could beat Sean? Fuck no. No, in MMA? No. Could Sean fight him in boxing? No. Neither? No, I mean, Sean, Sean is MMA. That's where he's dominated, and that's where Ryan's dominated in boxing. What about that guy right there? He was an MMA guy. Yeah, but it's different. You know, the heavyweight is, the heavyweight division is just different, you know. He's a freak. He's a freak, <laughs> when he, you know what I'm saying? He, one punch, and I was on your show, and he yes. actually posted yes. it, where I said that I think that he had no chance against um, Fury. Yeah. Don't play. That was the editor that did that. I didn't. I wasn't trying to dunk or anything, just for the record. Yeah, no. no it's, it's, all good. it's all love. Yeah. Um, Do you think he has a chance against AJ? Don't say it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, um... I think he has that neutralizer. He's very strong. He's a freak. Like yes. he's literally a freak. Um, so you just can't count him out. Okay. But I think AJ is gonna win. Yes. But he's just somebody you cannot count out. Styles make fights too, right? Hundred percent. You can make a case that AJ is maybe a worse matchup for him than Tyson was. Well, it just depends. I don't think the best Tyson showed up. I think he, right. you know, um, underestimated him. He had no film to really watch. At least. AJ has 10 rounds of, or I think he fought 10. 10, yeah. Yeah, 10 rounds of film to actually watch and dissect. And uh, AJ has a good team. You know, he has Ben Davidson. He's, Ben Davidson is actually one of my coaches. Yes. Uh, That's a fascinating relationship because, like, he gives you, like, scouting stuff, right? How do you know that? Bro, I mean, I, I it's, Team Haney, you know? Yeah. I, I, that that's amazing. So what does he do? He breaks films down film down. Yeah, and so then... him and him and Lee Wiley, they 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 do film study. Um and they literally dissect every opponent. Even me, they dissect me. Like that's the habits that I do, the things that I do. So um But they're not they're not in your corner. Well, because they 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 can't come over right now. Ah, uh, okay. Um but if they if if they could, then they would be. Oh, uh, okay. No, like they're they're like Do they great, watch your sparring and all everything. that? I send them all, all my sparring. It's amazing. Watch me do my pad work. You know, they 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 they're with me every step of the way. They're just, they're just not there, you know, physically. But um Bro, they're a great asset to my team, and uh, you you've seen how much better um, AJ. AJ has yeah. gotten since he's been with him. Like yeah. it's night and day. He made a mistake by leaving him. Ben changed or like got Tyson back on track, in my opinion. I think, and then so. they parted ways. I think so. I'm not really sure why. I think he made a mistake, especially um, if AJ and uh, Fury fights. Those guys are genius. Right. Yeah. Um, there's, it's a crazy day in boxing. I don't know what you've been doing media and whatnot, but there's a report out of ESPN that Canelo and PBC are now split. Yeah. You saw this? Yeah. And that he might go back to Matchroom and DAZN. Mm -hmm. What do you make of all of this? It's Canelo. he do what he want. Yeah. He's just a man. He's not happy with... What do you make of the state of PBC? What, what about it? Well, you know, they, they were on Showtime. Showtime's no more. Now the Amazon deal. I mean, it's just boxing. You yeah. Know, um... None of it lasts forever, so um, you know these these companies go in and out. These these networks and all that. We had HBO, right? Then we got the Zone. Then we, you know, Showtime's been around. Now we got Amazon Prime. It's, it's boxing. It's, what what can you do? But that's a that's a big. We fish had Triller. We had Triller yeah. at a point. Yeah. It's just a big fish to lose. They just got them no, back for sure. And like Showtime is just OGs. They, right. And they know how to market fights. This is it's 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 what they do. But, um, you know, I hate to see him go. I hate to see HBO. I heard HBO will come back eventually. You think so? I think so. It would be amazing. 
they were the the real OGs. Yeah, real OGs. Like when you turn on HBO Boxing, it's like this is something. Yeah, this no, means sure. something. You know, it had like it had like. Yeah. And you know, class. The, we need we we need them all to come back. Us fighters, because that's the more right. You know, more money, more more networks, more options. So um, I pray they all come back. As you're a boxing fan, right? Yeah. As a fan, who would you like to see him fight next? You know, there's Berlang out there who won on Saturday. Oh, Canelo. Yeah. Uh, Munguia. I think him and Mike Munguia is a firefight. Uh, we know we know what Munguia is going to do. He's going to go straight at him. But I see, I see Canelo. Um, you know, just being too much, stopping him eventually, like just catching up to him and just stopping. Of course, him. you say Munguia. You're a Golden Boy guy now. <laughs> I like it. Oscar's Smart. my man. Yeah. Um, but the Benavides fight is That's the, fight the one. I mean, the world wants to see. Yeah. Um, Would you like Crawford against them? Or is that too big of a jump? No, nah, I mean, we make, they make weight classes for a reason. And right. Crawford is my boy. Like, I fuck with Crawford. So, will he get paid crazy? Absolutely. But will it make sense? I just think that we make weight classes. They make weight classes for a reason. And Crawford is number one pound for pound for me. But to me. But... Canelo's just big. Mm. How how far away are we, from, speaking of weight classes, uh, of seeing you at 147? I think soon, sooner than what a lot of people think. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, is it possible after this one? Possibly, possibly. Uh, I want to make the biggest fights happen for the most amount of money. You know, um, I did, you know, I came out of dispute, I did that, you know, but now I'm, I'm into making big fights, you know, um, so we just got to see. You don't care about the belts necessarily, just the fights. No, I mean, I love the belts. You know, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the belts. Sure. I'm still champion right now. So, uh, but, uh, you know, things just got to make sense. 147, like it would me be... me and Ryan, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, you versus Terrence at 147 would make sense. It makes sense, but fucking Terrence is... is To go straight into 147 and go straight at Terrence... Too is, much. It's crazy. I believe in you. I believe in me, too. So what? It just makes sense. You got to make, you know, it, it it just doesn't make sense. Okay. To just go straight into a Terrence Crawford fight. Terrence Crawford, listen, that's my boy. He go, he go, go ahead, go, okay. he go, go out and I'm going to come in. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's what you would prefer. So you'd actually prefer, would it be fair to say not to fight him? Just because you have. that's my brother. I'm not, you know, I'm a fighter. I fight anybody. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm one of the throwback fighters. I'm that guy that says that he will fight anybody and really mean it. These guys say that, but they don't, they don't mean it. They just say it because no. it sounds good. I'm, I'm one of those guys, so um, I'll fight anybody. And dare I say, Ryan is one of those guys too. I, I, I know you may not see eye to eye, but no, no, you got it. You definitely. That's one thing you got to take your hat off to him. Even though I don't fuck with the guy, but he is a guy that's fighting the guys. He's fighting who? Yes. Who else has fought? You know, me and Tank besides Gamboa. Yeah. No. He seems to seek the biggest fight. He's not yeah. trying, and that used to be the knock on him. Oh, he's just a yeah. pretty we boy. We gotta see though. We gotta see if he shows up to this fight. Cause you don't think he shows up? I don't know. He's looking shaky. You're worried, aren't you? A little bit. I mean, I'll get a good sense here later today. And but like before 25. that, aren't you kind of worried? Like, what the fuck is up with this guy? Right. Uh, there's a lot of tweets and stuff, and there's a lot going on. But uh, I, he always shows up. Okay. He always shows up. Are are you plan? Are you expecting anything crazy at the presser tomorrow? You expecting him to try to get under your skin, to try to pull any rabbits out of his He's hat? He's a TikToker. He thinks yeah. this shit is a game. He thinks that this is, you know, fake. This not this. This is fake. This is not real. He's he's in a fantasy, and that's what I'm gonna show him on April 20th. That this shit is for real. I'm not here to play. I'm not here to none of that. I'm a real fighter. I'm not one of these guys that's about to play the game with you. You'll see. Well, I can't wait. Uh, April 20th, uh, Barclays Center, right here in New York. Another big fight back in Brooklyn. It's been a while. You know that? It's been a long-ass time since there's been a big fight in Brooklyn. What was the last fight? I, a tank fought there a couple of years ago. Okay. Remember that? But it wasn't as big as this. This would be the biggest fight ever at, at the Arguably. Barclays. Yeah. No, oh, for yeah. sure. It's going yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's to do the highest numbers. For sure, yes. Yeah. Was there ever talk of uh, MSG? No. No one. Oh, no, no. I know it was either or. It was either, it was either or, or. But uh, Barclays. Barclays wins. The BK. You going to spend time in the BK before you uh, you leave? Uh, no, nah, I don't plan. That's how it's cool people say it, the BK. I don't know if you BK. knew that. BK. Yeah, the 7 Burger King. That too, that too. <laughs> uh, Burger King, King Ryan. Oh, you call them Queen. Queen Rye. That's Queen Rye, that's right. Uh, I can't wait. In about 24 minutes from now, uh, Ryan's going to be here, so we have to get Devin out. Queen you... Rye. Yes. Miss Rye. That's right. Miss Rye. Okay. Uh, I don't want you guys crossing paths here, because I'll get in trouble. 
All right, let me hurry up. I was told. I was told not to. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.